In this video that's entitled Understanding Storage Spaces, I'm going to tell you about a new functionality that's being introduced in Windows Server 2012. And this thing is really getting a lot of positive press out there from the bloggers, out there from the administrators on the forum boards. Uh, this is some really neat stuff. Now, really what this is, the best way to describe it is a new way to think about storage organization in a Windows environment. Many of the features that you'll see here were previously only available in enterprise class storage situations, and you can translate that to mean uh, very expensive. So let's take a look at uh, some basics here. First of all, the main thing that Storage Spaces does is it allows us to combine storage space from multiple drives into what's called storage pools. Now we can use drives such as SATA, SCSI, iSCSI, SAS, USB. So we can grab chunks of free space on all these different kinds of drives. And then Storage Space is going to create that as a pool. And the pools are what we use to create what we really see as the storage spaces. And so we go to all these different types of drives. We grab all this space and then we take that pool and we can combine it with other pools and we create a storage space. And this appears to the end user as a logical disk, like a drive M. And so the user just hits drive M, saves their data, retrieves their data. Everybody's happy. But in the background, storage spaces is managing this whole operation. Now, storage spaces offers several resiliency options. Resiliency is another fancy word that Microsoft's using now for what we used to know as fault tolerance. Now the first option is two-way mirroring. This is what we've always known as mirroring. It requires at least two physical disks. And we just place a copy of the data on each drive every time we save a file. It's automatically done for us. So we have two identical disks with two identical bits of information at the end of the uh, saving session. Now with three-way mirroring, this is kind of interesting. It requires at least five physical disks. And storage spaces will place a copy of data on three of the five disks. And so down the road, we lose a disk. It can reconstruct the data. Then the last one that we have here on the resiliency options is parity mode. This is what a lot of us have become familiar with as RAID 5. And this requires at least three disks. It's going to store parity and data on each disk. And so if we lose a disk, it can read the parity from the other two disks to reconstruct what's missing on the disk that's gone bad. Now that's the basics of storage spaces. And understand it's going to do a whole lot more for us in the background, but we're going to talk about that in a separate video entitled Storage Spaces and Thin Provisioning. And this gets pretty wild. Okay, so join me in Storage Spaces and Thin Provisioning to kind of continue this. But for now, I just want you to understand the very basics about what storage spaces is, and then you'll see as we move through the course here what it does. And I would strongly recommend, since this is such a new technology and Microsoft's going to be so very proud of it, that you go out and read about this before you go sit this exam.